And good afternoon, folks. It's time to continue on our Pillars of Eternity 2 playthrough. It's brought to us by Mike. Thank you for supporting the channel. And the last time we played... Well, we met the Queen and we have to go to Okaizo, the lost city. Um, where we might have to forge alliances to get there. We need the very best hull and sails available in the dead fire. We don't have that. We found a black wood log. It may allow us to craft a hull that can travel through Andra's mortar. Huh. Well, there's a few things we can do. Well, first, let's talk to our uh, our team here. Let's talk to Takehu. Ukaizo. We are actually going to Ukaizo. The tribes will look to me to bridge our past and our future. A heavy responsibility, I say. This should empower you, not paralyze you. And the praise they showered on Ngati's Chosen. Until now, it all seemed an empty gesture. Never a promise that I could fulfill. I was the toast of Nekataka. But all of that is behind me. I must turn away from delights and think of the tribes. Ahoy, Block. Ahoy. Ukaizo will show us the way. The tribes will find themselves again. I would discover what our ancestors forgot. The Covenant is more important than ever. The tribes are unified, but vulnerable. Kaizu can make them strong again. That's true. I will give it thought. There is time enough for that, at least. Okaizo should be the discovery of our lifetime. With the trading companies and the Principe ready to descend on each other, I wish the island had kept its secrets a while longer. Oh, let's... Listen to the sensation. It pains me to see my boy so conflicted. Questions tear at his heart, and the ache reaches me even here. If you continue to encourage him, his life will grow more complicated. He will be the savior his people want. Someone to drag their past into the present. Empires have fallen since I favored the Juana with power and wisdom. How they wield it is their choice. Just see that my boy comes to no harm. There is much to consider and little time to decide our course. I fear that we will see the path before us before we are ready to walk it. All right, and what does Maya want? So, it's to be Ukaizo, the last great arena of this contest. If you believe that sort of thing. Planting a flag in the sands of Ukaizo is a great way to hang a target on your back. Going for Ethis, not the island. Glad to hear that a practical opinion can still shout over the masses. I just want to know that we're doing this for the right reason. So far, I'm unconvinced. Until I see Ukaizo for myself, it's a bedtime story. Let the poets hang their hopes on a dream. Rawatai's navy should be better than this. She has personal reservations. Ukaizo isn't a fortress in the path of shipping lanes. We don't even know if this mythical island has any defensive value. When this campaign is spread across razor-thin margins, how does the company plan on sustaining a garrison half the world away in uncharted seas? All the powers imagine that Ukaizo is a symbol for control, and they're willing to bet everything that they're right. All the more reason to get there first. If only to prove them all wrong at once. Thanks for letting me squawk in your ear like a Shiza after too much shark meat. I needed that. All right. I'm doing well, considering. Because we're leveling up. Let's go. Let's get history, mechanics. Hmm. Oh, 
we can always get a... Always get another spell here. If the game doesn't crash. There we go. What was this again? Yeah, that was healing. A lot of healing. There's potions to everyone. It's pretty good. So I guess we can talk to people around. Sure. Talk to the prince. I say it is not every day that a ship pulls into port for Margarine's teeth. You are not too singed, I hope. So, my sister finally wishes to negotiate with the Wahaki. This is serious work. I trust you to behave yourself on Oreo Kowiki. Akara, just this once, my prince. Months ago, I told Onikaza to make appeals to the Wahaki Ranga. She must feel the walls of the dead fire closing in, I say. You have any advice? Be respectful and ignore the mutterings in the street. I say the Wahaki are keepers of tradition, not hardened killers. But if earning the trust of the Wahaki was easy, I would have done it ages ago. All right, that doesn't help us out at all. So down we go. Ah, uh, there's... I checked the, the quest. It does have a skull. Not that it's a big problem, because we've... We've cleared out stuff that had triple skulls without, well, too much trouble. But... I think we might want to do a few quests prior to that. Get a level or two. On a side note, I still haven't received my parts for the computer. The UPS is taking their sweet-ass time. Got my stuff from Amazon, though. Do with pillars. All right, so the burn book grows warm in your pack. Burn book. Ishi, down. Adair, what are you hiding in your pack? Huh? Didn't think Ishi knew how to smoke. The burning book. What burning book? Oh, we can summon magma oozes. There we go. Now let's check our items. Probably quest items. No. Hmm. I don't know what book they're talking about. I don't think it's that. Burning book. Ah, oh, burned book of law. No, oh, it's mag. I will say nothing to the god. Surprised that they don't have any voices here. Oh yeah, that's Wodica, right? After everything you've seen, do you believe mortals are equipped to take control over their destiny, or do they need a firmer hand? A firm hand crushed my castle. I could have done without that.
You didn't need to reignite the Adra lighthouse. You helped the colony knowing that Eothis was already moving towards Ukaizo. Why? The Juan are protective of their na native Adra. I knew they'd appreciate it. The Royatai deserve to have their lighthouse back. Good for the Valiants. Payment reward, the usual. Well, I think, uh, let's be honest here, and let's go with number four. Oh, she's, she's grilling us for every decision we've done. The dragon is not so easily hidden from the world. Oh yeah, we freed the dragon. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> Oh, that's another dragon. Okay, she's really grilling us for everything we've done. Your conduct is beneath my acceptable standard. Even though you're living up to my admittedly low expectations of mortals, know that I am displeased. Well, I'll say it, I'm just doing my job. Has your opinion of mortals changed at all? Nothing you've done has tarnished it utterly beyond repair. Oh, that's good. What's on Ukaizo now? People act if Ukaizo is the key to controlling Denfire. Oh yeah, that's a good question. What's on Ukaizo now? Do you have a behead her option? Uh, well, this is us. This is her. I don't think I have a sword long enough for that. We'll speak again. Wodica nods stiffly. You feel her presence drift as a breeze, rustling as it goes. All right, see you later, Wodica. So, but here. they're still out there. Will no one help me? Perhaps in a day or two. Prince Aruihi enjoys wild tales. Well, that, this might be a quest. Well, now, if there were any man here worthy of a grand reception, the guards here will not listen. Will you, sir? Myself, I am no lord save upon the deck of my ship. And she is lost. I lost my crew, all but myself and the bosun, yet nobody will listen. Not the Queen, nor the trading companies. Too busy waging war upon each other to pay mine to a rudderless captain. They don't understand. It's not just me. What lies out there, it'll swallow us all up if it isn't stopped. What does he mean? It were... Unnatural. The Antelope were a fine ship, and we sailed her out east, out of Kahanga waters and into the great wet country. Bright sky and a good wind. Until the fog came. Fog? We were boarded before we knew it. Men, things like men that howled like demons. They cut down half my crew, took the rest. Gods forgive me, but if I'd stayed to look on, I'd never have made it to the launch. But we saw it. 
After the fog cleared and the ship was gone, a spit of land, bristling with the wreckage of other unfortunates. A finer crew I'll not find than that which served upon the antelope. All dragged into the fog, like the gods plucked them off the deck. That's right, Mike. This Super 16 is over. I... I'll not forget it so long as I live. I am a landlocked wretch with no ship and no crew. But I have warned you fair. Keep you clear of that ship's graveyard, for it has made a ruin of a seasoned sailor. You have listened well. Here, go you now prepared. And should you ever come upon my crew, do what you can for them. All right, well, we got a new cape. We can give that to someone. Kehu? Kehu. New cape. I just reached here, level 12, but have over 12. If. 250,000 in coins? I have 8,000. I've burned so much money on nothing. Then again, I should probably sell off some stuff. Well, I don't think he gave me any missions there. He just said, well, if you run into my crew, uh, save them. Eight, I guess. Can't do much about that. So, all I've been doing for the last two weeks is battle other ships, then selling the loot. Ah, okay. Yeah, that could work. That could give you a lot of money. Yeah, we haven't been doing much boat fighting, like, at all. And mostly um, leveling up stuff. Mostly. So let's go check out the uh, the dock worker. Maybe he can uh, do something with the wood we found. Do it, pillars. It's especially slow today. Probably because it's so freaking hot. Yeah, you can do it. Pillars? What's, what's, what's going on with Freeport? going on with the game guess you need to play Landstalker now no not yet see the second you said Landstalker the game came back on two hours passed yeah that's just about right to the dock. I think we gotta go north. The 
dog guy was around here. Zamar. Business comes and goes like the tide. Oh, come to. Hmm. Well, we got four thousand. It's even worse. So it's not this guy who will refit our refit our docks. Who will do it though? Our docks, our our deck, our hull. Who would do that? Well, let's go see uh, the Royal Deadfire Company. Maybe they can help us out. I don't think the Valians would want to help us since we... Uh, Killed uh, everyone. Or we can just hit the boat. Should probably go with the brass citadel. By doing that, we should get some support. Go to the uh, to Okaizo. Remember when we had the Paladin? Good times. My favorite privateer, clear skies. Wrong area. Oops. Because uh, I think the game. <coughs> Sorry. I think the game. Sending is around o Okaizo. I'm pretty convinced here. Or we might have a little something right after. Aerial command. Hmm. Well, I've got my appointment for tomorrow, so can't wait. Will do. Good to see you again. So, Mukaizo's real, and your glowing friend is headed there. We've got to move quick. Hmm. 
We? Our engineers believe there's something unnatural about the storms of Andra's mortar, and the ones that have made Rawatai a rain-lashed rock. If Ukaizo really exists, it could be the key to understanding them, and stopping them. Just as you saw at Poko Kohara, the Ingwithans were masters of engineering, and with the knowledge of Ukaizo, we could surpass them. Shakara, may you vanish from the world twice as swiftly. You think they could have achieved this? <laughs> Where have you seen anything this ambitious among their works? The Ingwithans, on the other hand, left monuments to their greatness around the world. You only fool yourself. My people were accomplished before Rawatai had a name. And we will prove you wrong. And my people left Deadfire because it was in shambles. You worship a glorious past when you should set your eyes on the future. Wow, your bigotry is showing. No, we're not going to say that ever. We won the Battle of Nakaro Atoll. The sinking of our ship was a child's tantrum. They build nothing in these glorious islands, and they resent us when we do. Does Rabatai not also deserve the chance to flourish? That's your goal, to reach Okaizo and tame the storms. We could truly transform Rawatai. No more flooded cities. No more harvests washed from the fields. Months till Pathfinder Kingmaker comes for councils. Oh, really? Thought it was already, uh, already out. I mean to do whatever it takes. I can help you reach Aethys. But first, I must prepare for the world we'll all live in after you confront him. The slavers on Crookspur have menaced the region too long. Atsura thinks it would give the wrong impression if we were to move against them on our own. But this is exactly the kind of crusade that suits you. Oh. Speak to Atsura. He'll tell you more. If Ukaizo works the way we think it does, then leaving it for someone else would be about as smart as pointing a cannon at our backs. Talk and compromise may work for you, but we can't risk Rawatai on someone else's good intentions. Well, well, well. Go down. Oh, well, Pathfinder was a good game. You should enjoy it. I get along fine with him. He's straightforward to me. Are we talking about the same Atsura? Speaking of... I see you received my message. This is good, because I have a matter of no small importance to discuss. You ever play Slate of Spire? A great injustice plagues the archipelago, and we have an opportunity to end it. I've dabbled in it. A thriving slave trade disrupts the dead fire. I've determined that it's being run from the island known as Crookspur. Getting rid of them. Slavers sow chaos wherever they ply their unsavory business. They uproot communities, disrupt trade, and attract the vilest criminals. The vilest. Unfortunately, they've been allowed to operate here for years. Why, if the Juana had marshaled their forces, the slaver problem never would have reached this extent. Hmm. 
That it has is a failure we must lay at the feet of the Kahanga royals. Allow me to illustrate. 2,000 years ago, our people began the conquest of Rawatai. The land was new to us. Many of its inhabitants were better equipped. But we overcame them. We were unified where they were scattered. And we were not content to huddle in cliff caves and subsist. We were determined to make a better life for ourselves. Sounds like you stole, you stole land and livelihood from a lot of people. Hmm, where are you going with this? <clears throat> I am merely pointing out that it is difficult for fragmented, transient tribes to maintain control over their territory. Is it not noble and just to end this scourge, especially if the Juana cannot? We must end the slaver threat. You be straight with me. What does it have to do with Rawatai? Rawatai has interests in a stable dead fire and in earning the favor of our Juana brethren. The slavers threaten both goals. Go to the slaver outpost on Crooksburg and kill Master Kua, the ringleader. His associates should scatter. As much as I would like to send our forces to fight the good fight alongside you, I'm afraid that would only cause trouble in other quarters, especially since some of the slavers operate legally and with the blessing of certain Valian officials. Mm. However, I have it on good authority that the slavers have made enemies of the Wahaki. They may be willing to help you. If they don't take your head off first. The Wahaki congregate on an island called Ori Okoiki. It means cursed land of corpses. They are suspicious of outsiders, so approach them with caution, if at all. What's important is that you rid us of the slavers on Crooksburg. That's where I, that's right, Worm. Of which you are the very best. That's right, we're the best mercenary. Besides, you will lend an air of legitimacy to the operation. Now, what else can I do for you? All right. Now we have two missions. One is to go see uh, the Wahaki. That was your tooth. Well, there was a hole in it. That's about it. So, let's go to the sea. Oh. We got, got an encounter here. What could it mean? Yeah. The, um, games is, um... Excessively slow today. Not much I can do though. Oh. Tunnel has collapsed. Let's find a route around the collapse. 
Let's use our streetwise Portland. I'm not too sure where uh, the Wahaki are. I'm probably gonna. I'm gonna check my quest log, that's for sure. There's also another place we could also check to uh, clear out one of our quests, which was to clear out the islands near Pokokohara. the wood. That she wants to talk to us. I think it's the first time the statue wanted to talk to us since the start. Yeah, I don't remember asking for anything. Yeah, probably. Why would you bring the statue along? A moment of your time, Watcher, if you will. Some of the hands discovered an unusual crate in the ship's hold. It is roughly a yard to a side and labelled beans. The hands who noticed it were tasked by the cook to bring up ingredients for the evening stew. No beans in the crate, then. Unfortunately, the ship lacks the defensive fortifications of Cad Nua. A crate could have been slipped aboard at any of our ports of call, assuming it wasn't placed among our goods as we took on supplies. The hand left the crate in the hold, if you wish to examine it. Well, well, well. I hope it's not a monster. I got this. Mmm. Juana box. Examine the latch. There's no lock, no trap. Religiously. Didn't get it. Open the chest. Oh. Shorty. Recognized it. Oh, it's a head. I got 
about this. You can see me? It's really you then, the captain of the Defiance. It's uh, the USS Freeport, but yes. Oh, this is fantastic. How satisfying it is to know one did not give one's life in vain. I come from the island of Kazuwari, and we need your aid. <laughs> Kazuwari is an island where the most skillful hunters, the most hardened explorers, the deadliest warriors, all gather to earn Tuamowai's favor. Okay. But Humaire, the island's caretaker, says the essence that sustains the island has sickened. Curdled, she called it. The animals, the trees, they all churn with anger and fear. I'm the greatest warrior. Why haven't I heard about this place? I can't explain the whims of Tuamawai. Perhaps you might have with time. But only Tuamawai's best beloved are welcome there. Only they can truly appreciate what it offers. We need a watcher. No one else can talk to souls, Humaire said. And souls are our problem. You're a watcher, right? The watcher. The one who died and lived again. Who speaks to the gods. That's the watcher we need. You got me. I knew it. I knew Humaire wouldn't have lied. You will help, won't you? Oh, that's fantastic. Thank you. Speak to Humaire at Kazuari, watcher. She'll be able to better explain the situation than I am. Get off my boat. Kazuari's a huge island west of Hasango. It's pretty hard to miss, what with the high cliffs and waterfalls. There's one thing you should know. The faces of the hunt jealously control who enters and leaves the island. But there's a waterfall on the southern side of the island that will allow you to sneak in, so long as you're circumspect. I guess you should also know. The island's residents might not take too kindly to your presence if you're found. They're, um... A uh, prickly bunch. But I'm sure that won't be a problem for you. No, you know, I, I just... <clears throat> Thing is, I might know something about that box there. A little more than something. Oh? All I'm saying is, maybe you don't want to touch it. Maybe we tie a big rock to it and throw it overboard. Right now. It's a box with a dead man's head in it. <laughs> uh, great. That's that, that's great. But it would have been nice if you had told me before there. Maybe we should talk about it later. You seem to have your hands full. Hey, hello. I'm still here. Are you going to help us? We could really use the help. Once we've arrived, I can help you find your way into the heart of the island. You know, if you want me to, I wouldn't want to presume. In the meantime, I'll be here. Well, behind you, really, with the rest of the spirits following you around. Okay. <clears throat> I imagine this is going to be a... I don't know if it's a DLC quest, a side quest... Part of the main story. I'm sure, this is much more important than stopping Eothis from destroying the wheel. This is Seeker, Slayer, Survivor. That's the DLC, right? Yeah, okay. Beast of Winter. Fruitful Alliance. Ori O Koiki.
Probably look at the map. Where am I going? Oh, geez, that's a pretty far off. You find yourself in cold, suffocating darkness. There is a familiar weight in your hand. A lantern. It sputters to life, and the world shifts into focus. A, a wave of blistering heat hits you. Then a sea salt wind. Divine voices boom and screech. Their words shake the platform beneath you. Shake the very air around you. The gods are fighting. Uh-oh. Lay your blame elsewhere, Wodica. I won't suffer your arguments any longer. Magrin looms large before you, an accusing finger leveled at the melted visage of Wodica. Wodica screws her mouth into a sneer. You fool! If only we had attacked him when I first proposed it. Accusations drip bitter as bile from her tongue. Hmm. I'll, uh, I'll say nothing. Wal smiles. Enmity and animus, watcher. Two old songs we sing in well-practiced harmony. Unable to reach a chorus, we compete to see who shouts best shake aura. The pallid knight looks down at you, a frown etched deep in her otherwise statue-still features. I am afraid we are not at our best. The Watcher's return. Perhaps we should hear what he has to say. Helia's birds chatter anxiously among themselves. Wal's many eyes alight on each god in turn. We make little enough progress on our own. Oh, let's, let's ask them the question. What are you planning? We try, but agreement eludes us. Andra's storm-dark eyes swivel to meet yours. Is there nothing we can do? Magrin glances at the pallid knight from the corner of her eye. After a thoughtful pause, she speaks. The time has come for us to seize the power we have long left untouched, and absorb our scattered children. Andra nods, her lure bobbing bright. Terrible though it would be, perhaps you are right. I did, and I was scolded like a child for my terrible audacity. A curl of steam rises from her nose. The pallid knight looks on. Impassive. Should we be killed, we may possess the bodies of our godlike children. Or should we face a force too powerful to stand against, we can absorb their souls, granting us additional strength. Oh no! Takehu and that paladin who left. Helia's wayward daughter and Andra's precious son, yes. They would die. Them and thousands of others. The Pallid Knight speaks with the chilly temperance possessed only by the God of Death. Hmm. Who's good? Yours? We are your gods. Forged of thousands upon thousands of willing souls sacrificed on the altar of progress. Yes, our good is greater. But the time for that plan has long passed us by. Are we to keep nothing for ourselves? Not a single secret retained? Not a solitary mystery? Magrin elbows one of Wal's floating eyes away. Aethys will lay bare our every secret soon enough. What is one or two revealed now? But we get ahead of ourselves. First, the Watcher must get to Kaizo. And that will be a trial all its own. What do you mean? The Guardian of Ukaizo has stood watch over that place for millennia. It will not stand aside. Not even for Barith's Herald. <gasps> Helia, who had been lost in quiet, anxious conversation with her birds, breaks in. It yet lives. Of course. Our progenitors crafted it. A pair of Helia's finches come to join Wal's floating eye. They hover just out of Magrin's reach and swoop in to poke her when she's not looking. And the Watcher will be forced to reckon with it if he wishes to confront Aethys. The birds at last linger too long, 
and Mogren slaps them away. They burst into a cloud of essence, then reform, and fly in a screeching chorus back to Helia. A creature crafted by the Inguithans to protect the machinery of reincarnation. It doesn't care much for visitors. Uh-oh. Will you divulge our every secret to the kith, Mogren? Mogren shrugs. If it suits me. Go prepared, Watcher. The Guardian will not stand aside. Not even for the Herald of Barath. Well, if I gotta fight it. Any suggestions? Where's the challenge in that? Oh, Mogren. Oh, Mogren. You met my challenge at the Searing Falls without hesitation, after all. And when Firga faltered, you restored her faith in me. There is another topic we have yet to address. The Pallid Knight holds up one gauntleted hand, and the other gods fall silent. Tell me, Watcher, where do you stand? Uh-oh. What do you think of Aeothus's scheme to destroy the wheel? <laughs> uh huh. It's a long time coming. Kith will finally know what a bunch of frauds you all are. With the gods' guidance, we might survive what Ithis plans. We can no longer count on the gods for guidance. Kith will have to figure this out on her own. This doesn't feel like the act of a caring god to me. Dear Ethis is going to destroy everything. I still don't understand what it all means. What will happen when Ethis destroys the wheel? Say nothing. Ooh. That's that's a good one. What should we do? We could go our usual way and say nothing. Six. All right, can go with six. The pallid knight spreads wide her hands. Think of the beyond as a reservoir, the in between as storm clouds, and souls as rain. When a living thing dies, its soul enters the in between, and when the in between grows full, it releases souls into the beyond, where they wait to be redistributed to new bodies, new lives. The wheel is the process by which souls are moved from the in-between to the beyond. From the rain cloud to the reservoir, and from the reservoir into the living world. Without the wheel to mediate the transfer and redistribution of souls, the souls of all who die remain in the in-between. And without souls to fill it, the beyond gradually empties, trapping all of the remaining souls in existence in the in-between. When the beyond is empty and the last creature on Aeora dies, that is the end of everything. It is Rimergon's future, the one he wants for us. Hmm. Soul essence sustains us. We feed off it, off the little fragments you mortal kith shed like snakeskin as you pass into your next life. Without sustenance, we starve as any mortal might. We die and leave a great silence behind. An eternal emptiness from which nothing is born. Why do you waste time arguing then? Let's nod. You see then that we cannot help but argue. The fate of life hangs in the balance, and we are as ever beholden to our natures. Tell us, Watcher, where do you stand? Hmm. Well, the answer is still, uh, the question is still here. Would not give a inappropriate answer. What do we say? <sighs> oh. Gonna have to have an opinion. Hmm. I don't think one's appropriate. Because we haven't re really been on the uh, opposite side of the gods there. We could also... S mm. Mm. Well, centrism would be say nothing. Well, people want one. Let's let's go with one then. You're a fool to trust him. 
He does not have your best interests at heart. Aethys loves the mortals more than any of us. He has always been their greatest champion. He believes Kith will rise to his challenge. I am not so sure, but I look forward to watching him try. He found our blind spot and exploited it admirably. By the time we even had a hint of what it was he intended, it was already too late to stop him. If we still had our bodies, we could oppose him! Wodica balls her bony hands into fists and glares long at Andra. Do not lay your blame on me. We set them aside after I killed Abaddon, it is true, but you did not fight the decision then. She turns her back on Wodica then, and looks instead to the Pallid Knight. What if Aethys is right, and kids succeed in rebuilding the wheel? What then? Mm, we'll learn and grow. I don't know, but aren't you curious to find out? Oh, that's... Wal grins. Always, Watcher. And what if they fail? Then they die. And so do we. We have to help them. Helia's voice rises, near to panic. Wodica drives her fist into her hand. Help them! We should finally bring them to heal! The Pallid Knight raises a hand and stares at Wodica until she falls silent. Watcher, Aethys yet values your counsel. The Pallid Knight's eyes bore into yours. An impassioned plea from the Hound of Aethys may still temper his actions. Confront him at Ukaizo. I'll try. The future of Kith and the gods rests on your shoulders, Watcher, so I hope that you do. The time moves nope. swiftly away from us now. The Pallid Knight spreads her hands before her. Go, Watcher. Do what you must. The edges of your vision begin to dim. Like a sun setting, twilight encroaches on your mind. Wait, what happens if I fail to convince Aethys of anything? You will not fail. Oh, okay. The Pallid Knight conjures a blinding white light in her palm that swiftly grows to engulf the room. Then, the crack of thunder rends the air, and you feel the floor drop out beneath you. You come to flat on your back, staring at an all-too-familiar ceiling. Alone, once again. Alright. Is this loom? Uh, to cast light, I have to go with uh, red, 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 and red. I don't think we have the stick, though. The staff. As long as we're not eaten by a dragon, I think we'll be fine. Well, the loom was pretty unique. I, I enjoyed it for what it was. What I'm not enjoying is these loading times. All right, well, back to loading times. Yeah, if I can ever receive it. The only thing I'm worried about once I upgrade my PC is I wonder if like the old games like Gothic 2 and all that if I'm gonna have a hell of a problem getting that back to uh, a running situation. Or let's say Loom. Got a black SSD. Forgot the full name, but that's what I remember.
Let's see encounter. Enjoy the fine weather. Let's talk to little Luca. Plenty of time for Grog when we're off duty. Shut your traps. Massive swell of water barreling towards the USS Freeport. Keep an angle, don't let it roll us with that. Uh oh. Failed. My sails. Well, they were supposed to deliver on uh, Thursday, so only been a few days. Besides, uh, I was going to get the um, the motherboard on uh, on the twenty sixth, so someone was injured. Haru, broken bones, the experience. Boatson. Did you get a new chair? No. Not made of money here. There's a shipwreck. Besides, the tooth is probably going to cost me the price of the chair, so I won't have any chair anytime soon. I'm going to have to keep this old boy a bit longer. Time for some diplomacy. So this is where the Oaxaki roost. Don't mind me as I take down our coordinates. No one around. You keep turning up like a chip desada. Who are you? Something keeps drawing me back to Oreo Koiki, I say. <laughs> Don't let Awata hear you say that. 
You went into the jungle for animal hides, I say, and found yourself in an empty clearing. Akira, silence is wise. You turned around and retraced your steps back to your ship, where it was safe. Here to talk. Not if you cannot listen. If you came to blunt my teeth with chatter, try to keep it short. Come from the Queen. We remember the old compact with the Nekataka Queen. Do you have her treaty words? Uh, I think it was this one. Akira. The Queen must be desperate to send you, I say. Oh, we remembered. Rosari will be expecting you inside. Seeing as you've earned your way up from nuisance to guest, find me if you feel like trading. All right. Kira, what now? You're in luck. I am the only one on the island who trades with outsiders. Ooh. Oh. Wanna see what it is. 5% damage with spells. I mean, it's not bad. In fact, it's very good. A lot of ingredients for stuff. We don't have the money. Now where is the chief? Some fish leaps into my net once again, I say. Water, how is my little Koiki? Rotten, pugnant, all the reasons you didn't fight when I gave you back to the sea. Akira, we were. Briefly and purposefully. I did not think you'd swim back, fish. I am here on business. Not pleasure? Tell me what they have done with the true Takehu. You are a delight as ever, I say. Keep the tribe safe, Owata. It is what I do. You keep swimming, Takehu. It is what you do. Alright. Maybe the spear's a gift for us? Silence! The outsider must leave. Oreo Koiki will not be parceled off and bought with foreign lies. Only the handsome fish can stay. Luasari would never let that happen. Where is your confidence in Aranka? Akira, you will not have a chance. We are no better than the outsiders if our Mataru act like inhospitable savages. Oof. Where is the courtesy and welcome of the Wahaki? If you have such love for outsiders, let this one speak for himself. That's true, he will keep us honest. I will? I mean, Akira, I will. Oh, Tekehu. If the outsider turns on us, I say I will drag you through Tangaloa's maw with me. For all our sakes, may I be proven wrong. On behalf of those who remember our manners, welcome to Oreo Koiki. Ikira, I say circumstances have made us rough around the edges. Outsiders come with cannons, nets, torches. They do not come to talk. 
She is our Ranga, and the strength of our tribe. I have never seen her without a mouthful of koiki. Even in battle, she wears a bandolier of fruit. It's called bandolier? A spirited, passionate, and very hungry woman is my Rosare. They married? Takera, I doubt he even knows the meaning of the word. I am familiar with the foreign obsession with vows. When it strikes Rosari's fancy that we should sleep under one roof, we do so vigorously. Some think I influence her judgment, but they have the wrong of it. My back is too fragile for the weight of authority, I say. We safeguard any land that the trading companies have not stolen out from under Anakaza's throne. The islands will fall if the tribes do not recall our past in Ngadi's covenant. Ngadi bade her followers to protect the islands, the tribes, and the luminous Adra. For this, she gave us the power to shape her domain. If we fail in our charges, the birthright of the Huana disappears. The Wahaki remember this. The Kahanga? They forget. Some of us remember. What we choose to do with the memory is ours to decide. I cannot speak of lost to Kaizo to an outsider. That is not our way. We lost much of ourselves when Cataclysm scoured the dead fire. Somewhere among the islands, there's a place where we... Ikira, my apologies, but I should say no more. Ask. I... Okay, I'm just here to see, see the king. So, all we need to do is honor the alliance, then we go kill the slavers, then... I guess we go back to Hidetaka, and then uh, get our escort towards the towards Okaizo. Big ass lion. I am the Ranga of this tribe and will not hesitate to send your soul through Tangaloa's maw if you threaten my people. I will say nothing. The Chosen of Ngati is a welcome sight, I say. Akara, my thanks to you, dear Ranga, though I bring you no omens this day. You have the gift of our hospitality during this audience. Do not abuse it. But will our hospitality be returned? Hmm. Takehu, I say we have troubles enough without my people fighting over you. Kara, just so. I will keep my hands to myself this time. The Queen sent you to remind us we are vassals. <laughs> Is that all? That's right. Queen. I am thinking you are very free with this meaningless outsider word. Foreigners hold the islands upside down, shaking them to loosen their riches. Onikaza gives them comfort. Akira, these are not the actions of a queen. Oh, well, let's use our diplomacy here. Bah! And she never should have let the foreigners take a step onto dead fire soil. You think the Queen is cunning, but she is on the brink of losing her power. Oh, let's use history on her. Hit her with the history. The Kahanka Queen shows her belly so that the enemy will overlook her claws. This is a worthy tactic. Valia and Rawatai are foolish enough to fall for it. Onikaza can enjoy her false sense of security for a bit longer. Akira, you are as blind as your countrymen. Before I agree to Onikaza's terms, I must deal with a pest of my own. Not as large as the trading companies, but nearly as vicious. 
You are knowing that the purchase of foreign slaves is allowed in the dead fire? I'm familiar. To buy and sell kith is the work of monsters. These slavers hunt the waters around Oreo Kuiki. Like cowards, they shy away from the deeper jungle. <laughs> they steal my people from their fishing boats and sell them like pigs at auction. Where is Onikaza to stop them? Someone must teach them the meaning of Oaxaca vengeance, I say. I will hunt these slavers. We will get along well, I say. Our enterprising foes clump together in a small fortress on the tip of Crooksburg Island, northwest of Nekataka. My love, Aparo, lost his sister to these creatures. Akira, more of us will vanish if we do not cut out the heart of Crooksburg. Tengara, call off the warriors. I grant our guest the freedom of the jungle. As you say, Ranga. If you would come and go on Oreo Kuiki, prove yourself a friend of the Wahaki. Okay, well, let's say that. Mm. The enemy of my enemy is still an outsider, but a resourceful one. You are knowing that the purchase of foreign slaves to buy these yeah, they steal we, we my that. people from their we will our enterprise my love up farewell okay i don't know why we recycled that but rusted constructs So we need to go to Crookspur Island. Don't think there's anything else left to do here. Bring everyone. Consider it. Done. What's over here? There's probably a way up. I don't know. Not really. Not to say. Oh, maybe. Let's say there's probably a way up in case you know you go in killing everyone. Yeah. But we don't need to do that. We brought to Kehu. No breaking, breaking, breaking our legs on uh, cliffside. Now, where are these slavers? We can also check the shipwreck as well, which was on the coast. That might be uh, pretty fruitful. Might find something good in there. And then after that, we'll go and uh, take care of the slavers. And then we should have the help of the queen to reach the... Uh, Reach Ukaizo.
so hot. Okay. And where is the... Oh, Crook Spear's over there. Oh, it's coming right for us. Time for massive lag as all our characters fight. All 20 of them. since we had a, a boarding party. Yeah. What do we have? We have Frank up there, Hover, Constantin, Worm, Zodi, Hover Block, Good. Let's uh, smoke veil here. Let's go. Do it again, and I'm taking it away. Ton of junk. How are we getting to level? Can't take that. You know, I wonder who can work uh, a new hull for us with that. With that wood. I don't think we've seen any boat builders besides the one at the docks. It did not go far. Vampire's Crip. Uh, when we we do a boarding, uh, it usually takes uh, either sailors or people from your party.
So remember they said to park your boat at the far side. So this is probably going to be a little fight, hopefully not too hard. I don't think I've seen any skulls, so... Yeah, exactly. Well, not just the name you generated, because, um, well, in that fight there was hover block, so that was your character you created. And with all the skills you selected as well, monks. Enemies ahead. I'll I bring you. your end. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You see that, Ishi? <laughs> I bring your end. <laughs> All right, she's on fire. Will be so. I don't know about this, this spell. There is one thing, though, I would like to keep some bin inventory space here only because. Um, we do have a spell now that can uh, put potions in our bags. I don't think we need generic healing. This, uh, maybe one day we'll actually use these. What say? You were saying? You have my attention. Right here. Yeah? Hmm? Okay. Oh. Hey. On it. Let's collect. Ooh. A unique item. Precognition. Ted's I win. Eh, Ted's. <laughs> Heads I win, tails you lose. Okay. There you go. Seems pretty good. Ooh, you like having, yeah? I got it. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Little fight. Didn't really struggle to be honest. I think we're we're pretty strong right now. We're in a good spot. Cause we don't have to heal. We had to heal and revive people, then then I'd feel uh like we'd be in trouble, but so far we're doing very well.
So there's a another area here to the left that we should check out. I think that would be uh, pretty uh, pretty useful. Maybe pearls, breastplate. Okay. Spear. A bunch of junk. Oh, there is a lot of boats. Bleak Rock Shrine. Search the area. Don't see anyone nearby. Let's identify it. We don't have anyone who's religious. Oh well. Seems like we can't reach Hookspur. So, guess we'll have to go through it the old fashioned way. I'm glad the slavers are nice enough not to attack us while we're not on the boat. I'm going to assume that we're going to fight the whole way. I doubt that we'll... Well, we might be able to sneak in. Kill the leaders. to have a look right away home of the falcon hits converted to grazes recovery time with two-headed melee weapons oh that would be good for istar We can definitely sell off some trash here. Legendary armor. Uh, plus one armor rating against melee attacks. Chance to stun attack. It's really good. Legendary one handed saber. Good against vessels. It's very good. I don't think we have the money for that. Can you rename items? No, I don't think so. Well, we can reach a uh, high amount there.
We could get the plate. Or we could get the grave calling. I think the plate would be really good for uh Or a dare. Well, yeah, it is pretty good. I can probably upgrade it instead. This is really good, though. What do I do? Do I get the armor or do I get the blade? Or do I get neither? trash doesn't matter these two because I'd probably want to give something to Istar if you think about it this is Istar's armor I would lose on recovery time though weapon you don't use about but you oh yeah I think we'll take nothing and see if we can just upgrade. Ah, uh, that's actually pretty good. Oh, that's not for you. That's for you. Does everyone have a cape? We got a head. That's Matara's aid. Tao's aid. Hmm. No boots. I don't think I have extra boots though. And rings, I don't think I have any rings. There you go. Carry the head. Alright, that seems about right. What do you need for, uh... Haven't been killing much here. That's something. Well, something I can do? Uh huh. What did you find, Ishi? I got it. Org Cannoneer. There's a cave here. Should we swim deeper into the cave? I suppose so. Swim towards the brighter tunnel. Partial success.
no swimming with armor on. That must be the worst. Oh. And we're not going back in there. Crystal Eater Spiderling. Looks like trouble. I'll take I bring your end. on fire again. Oh, that's gonna happen. something oh our main character has gained a level the MC the pro tag also a dare do a dare first uh, more more athletics uh, more intimidate mm, nothing really we need right now Power we don't really use. I guess we can give more proficiency to our weapons. That would be the appropriate thing to do. ability to choose Take that right now. I guess we can go tough. More health. Wouldn't hurt. Just 30 hit points. Yours to command, Captain. Challenge. Next time, a challenge. Squishy sound when you pick up something. Use the pry bar. For a subtle touch. There. Okay. Right, bunch of nothing. The dungeons. This 
we can go to the dungeons. If we liberate all the prisoners, that should make enough ruckus for us to get to the leader. It's crazy enough to work. Now there's probably going to be a few guards that we'll have to take out. Like I said, we're very strong right now, so I don't think that'll be any problems. Except for our paladin who keeps lighting herself on fire. I see where you're going with that. There. On it. Should probably sneak. I sense a predator in the water. Take oh, him mother down. Mother and got him. Just like <laughs> Bring your end. Um. Oh, see that issue? Oh, good. Is that an item doing that to Istar? No, that's Istar doing that to Istar. He's using his paladin powers to roast himself. This thing isn't doing the job. Showing this much gear is bad for me. Posture. I'll teach you a lesson. Stun this guy. How do you like that? <laughs> Watch. You were saying? Aye, aye. What do you need? Alright, so it's our, uh, it's got two injuries right now, which is not great. Yeah? Got some bruised ribs. Something I'm sure. What do you need? What we should do is probably take a rest. Will do. Because uh, she will not survive the uh, the ride. We don't. We could craft some food. Make the mariner's porridge. Give us a few buffs that we'll need to uh, to clear out this area. This calls for a subtle touch. There. What did I tell you? Hey guys. Shh. We're not supposed to talk with anyone. Who are you? 
An escaped slave? I... I don't want to get in trouble. There's a cavern. You're sure? What if it dead ends or there's spiders or we have to swim for it? I, I'm not a good swimmer. You'll be fine. All right. Yeah. It'd be worse if we stayed here. We'll go quiet as we can. That's not the way I would... Okay. Well, we should have cleared out the area first, but uh, they'll be fine. I believe them. them. Uh-oh. We messed up. Oops. I wanted them to go, you know, through the way we went, but they decided now nah, let's go through the auction court courtyard instead. Oops. Good day, my lord master. Finoma, at last we reach the culmination of our lot today. Feast your eyes on a fruit most rare. Veliko will open the bidding at 800 pies. 800 pies, 800 right here. And 850, who'll give me 850? 875, I'm at 875. We've got 875 and now 900, who will bid us 900? Stop this madness. We can always buy him. That doesn't help. Stop this madness. For the horns alone, I'd give you 900. Now we're at 950. Do I see 950? And I do. And we're up to 975. Where's my 975? There it is. And who'll give me 1000? Cannot abide by this. How impertinent. You are not the first mess I found myself forced to wipe up. Though I do hope you are the last. Guards, Vienna to arms. All right. It's time to kill the slavers because it's what we do. <laughs> hey, Dare. You wanna help me out there, buddy? Um, call the dragon. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna peace out here. Call out a little buddy here. Right between the eyes. Which are main character to the gun. Tentacles not doing the work. Alright, let's get a healing in. Good thinking. 
We good? Hmm? We good. I got this. I got this. Sure. You're free, man. They've closed the gate. Well, we gotta go take care of that. I mean, it's what they deserve, right? healing Down, sword. Challenge. I got this. Eclectic dog. But is he a slaver dog? That's the real question. Looks like trouble here. Oh, he's got a cannon. Oh, that's what cannoneer means, right? He blew that guy up. Hey there. I'm watching. Wait, what? Sure. 
Seems like the gate decided, nah. I'm good up here. I... and then you... I don't know how or why you killed them. But I do thank you. Get below the decks, you're my ship hand now, and you'll work till you bleed. You're free now. Truly? You mean it? I can never thank you enough for such kindness. Gods, I... Where should I go? I've nothing to my name but these clothes. And my freedom. Well, you can join the crew. Thank you for the kindness, my lord. All right, got someone who joined us. It wasn't our intention, but whatever. Looks like trouble. Show them how it's done. Ah! <laughs> that order is too tall. Oh, good. Huh. Ah. I bring your end. Hey, I got it. They stop burning. I'll teach you a lesson. Just oh, that's the Star with the level up. Let's wait for the full. There we go. Though so Star is a very, very offensive character. So no defense whatsoever. What can we get, though? All crit. Alright. And I think that'll be a good spot to call it there. For Pillars of Eternity 2. We'll be continuing on with Landstalker in a few minutes. I'm going to take a small break and we'll be right back. So on that, uh, thanks to Mike for supporting the channel. And uh, stay tuned for a bit more streaming today.